everyone at home or wherever you happen to be. I'm Miss Jamie and this is another episode of Art Explorations for Kids. So today we're going to focus on the coziness of winter, just getting nice and warm with our scarves and our jackets while it's cold outside. And we are going to draw a fuzzy cardinal hanging out on a snowy branch wrapped up in a scarf. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our mural brush and we're going to grab our watercolor paints. We're going to make sure to get our mural brush nice and soaked. And then we're going to go into our watercolor paints and we're going to do just a rocking motion into this blue. And you can see how careful I'm being keeping the paint there and not going into uh, any of the other paint trays. You can see I have a good amount of paint on my brush. And we're gonna take our bristle and we're gonna do broad sweeping motions and create a blue wash for our background. And you can see I have a paper to protect my table underneath the bristol that I'm working on because you want to make sure that you get all the way to those edges. Okay. You can see that lasted about halfway down my sheet, so I'm going to get some more water in my brush. Come back, and do the rocking motion in my blue here. Then come back to my paper and do the broad sweeping strokes again all the way down to the bottom. And you want to try to get as even coverage as you can with your color. If you feel like your paper's sliding and you need to hold it, just take one finger and hold it down on the corner being careful not to dip your hand into what you've already painted. And I'm just going back over, make sure if there are any strokes or streaks in there I see that I don't like, I'm kind of ironing those out and getting this nice color in the background. So now once you're happy with your background, you're going to go ahead and let this sit and completely dry. And so once we've done that, We'll come back and start drawing our bird. Okay, so now we're back. You can see the paper is completely dry. If you have any sort of folding uh, to your paper, um, which you might experience when the paint dries, it might fold a little bit, you can just gently crease it in the opposite direction that it's bending. Not so much that you fold it, but just gently creating a curve and laying it a little bit more flat to work with. All right, so now we're going to start drawing our cardinal. So what you want to do is take your Jumbo Jet Black Pencil and start by creating a large oval and that's going to be the body of our bird. And you know cardinals have those little crests on the top of their head, so we're going to come up from the top left of our oval, create woo, curved crest right there. And then we're going to come in about where we started our crest here, create a rounded triangle shape, and then round it at the end. And this is his beak and we're going to give him just a little curved smile. And then we're going to come in 
draw a circle for his eye, another circle for his pupil, and we're going to draw a half circle just for the little spotlight that hits your eye when you have a light and it shines off of it. So now we're going to come in and we are going to draw the scarf around our cardinal. Now we're going to start just below the crest and swoop down, not a straight line, and come to the just a little bit below where we drew that first line. And we're going to start smaller, make it a little bit bigger as it comes around to the back. Now we're going to want to draw the parts of the scarf that are folded that pop out. So we're going to come behind the bird right here and draw one side of the scarf and then from the front and come up and draw a similar shape in front of the bird. Now when you have fabric you'll notice that it sticks a little bit up above your skin. You have these folds. You don't just have a flat line where your skin is and then the cloth starts. So we're just going to add a little bit of a bump to show that this scarf is going around the bird and he's not, it's not part of the bird. We're going to do the same thing in the front here. All right, so now we have our body. And we're going to come in and give him three little toes right here. And again, W's. And draw three more little toes. And then we're going to come to the back, come down, and kind of like our scarf shape we have here, give him a cute little triangular tail. Okay, and so this is a winter scene, so we're going to draw a wintery branch, which means no leaves. And this can be a lot of fun to do because there are no exact shapes to trees. They're all different, all unique. So I'm going to start by drawing the tree trunk up at the top over here. I'm going to come down. And then I'm going to start my branch coming over here and I'm going to bring it down just below the bird because he's sitting on it. You want the toes to be on the branch. And then I'm going to bring it up over here. I'm going to have that first bit going off the page. I'm going to finish that branch by coming down here. I'm going to add another part of the branch going off bring it back in and then finish off the tree trunk and now we're going to want to add some of that snow in so this is just going to be like drawing white fluffy clouds we're going to do a scalloping technique so over over just little bumps it's going to go behind the scarf and then we're going to bring that down under the branch and you'll see this better in a moment once we erase some of these extra lines that we're just using as guidelines right now and I also want to have a little bit of snow sitting right here in this corner of this branch all right so now that we have everything drawn, we're going to go ahead and erase the extra lines that we don't need. And just do this very gently. You may pull up some of your background, which is fine because we're going to be covering that in a moment when we color it in in marker. You can see I'm going into the beak and erasing what we've drawn for the oval of the body. And then 
in here with the scarf. You know, we want the scarf going over, creating that little bump. So where we've drawn through, I'm gonna erase there. And erase that little body line. And erase here under this portion of the scarf in the front. And like I said before, this part will make more sense as we go. So we're going to erase just the branch that we've drawn right behind this little pile of snow. And you can see now we just have a little what looks like cloud that will become one of our little collected areas of snow. And lastly, I just need to come in and make sure that I erase part of this tail because the branch is coming out in front of the bird. Now that we have gone ahead and cleaned up our drawing, we're gonna go ahead and use what a lot of people refer to as their creative license. Now what that means is that we don't have to make this bird the colors that a cardinal normally is. Normally you see cardinals in red and black. Well, for a creative license, what you can imagine is what you get to do. So, we're going to use our creative license and we are going to stray away from the norm and use some fun colors. So I'm going to start by outlining my drawing with the purple brush pen. And you do not have to use purple. You can pick a different color using your creative license. and just go around those marks that we have left. And there's his little smile. I'm gonna color in his pupil. And you can see how I'm holding my brush pen. Again, I'm not holding it down like this. That's gonna give us a much thinner point. And there's also a chance that you might start creating a wavy line when you're doing these longer stretches that you're working with. So I'm holding it at an angle and just gently following and not applying too much pressure. So when you look at a cardinal, you'll also notice it has this cute little mask that's around its beak and its eyes. So we're going to go in and just around the eye and around the beak, add that little mask. Okay. So now we can go ahead and start coloring in our bird. And this is where your creative license is really gonna come in handy. Use your imagination and think of the most fun 
color cardinal that you would love to see out there. I'm going to do this uh, sort of fuchsia color for my body of the bird. I'm going to start going back and forth here. Try to stay just slightly inside the lines that you've created. Um, this will come in handy. This technique will come in handy, especially when you're using lighter colors, because this way your markers will not bleed into each other. You won't have, say, if you're using yellow with the purple, you won't be pulling purple into your yellow and creating a muddy color. You can see I'm also coloring in the same direction and I am still applying the same technique holding the brush in the same way before at an angle. And by coloring in the same direction we make our picture look nice and clean and cohesive whereas if we have marks going everywhere it looks chaotic and not intentional. give him a lime green scarf because I really like the way that purple and green look together. And see, I just outlined the edges here to give myself a little bit of buffer room so that I don't mix my colors by accident. ahead and do orange for the beak and the toes just because I really like this bright orange. It's a little bit more realistic but it's still fun because it's that bright neon. And gently get in these smaller areas here being really careful to not mix my colors. And when we see snow, you know, it's usually white unless we have a, a light shining on it or it's in shadow. But I'm going to go ahead with a bright, vibrant blue for my snow.
So now the last thing we have to color in is our tree and tree branch. So I think I'm gonna use this pink, almost cotton candy color. I'm gonna have a cotton candy tree, why not? It's my artistic license and it's gonna be a pink tree. So since we have done this uh, fun watercolor wash in the background, when you're doing some of these colors, you'll notice that you're going to have this really awesome effect shining through um, in these layers of color that you're putting down. You can see in here that some of the streaks of the blue are showing through the pink. So it's just giving us more fun texture in our painting. Okay, so now we have our completed winter cozy cardinals sitting on a snowy branch, and we've used our artistic license to give it these fun, vibrant colors and make it uniquely ours. So if you are happy with where your picture is and you're ready to frame it, put it on the wall, then you can go ahead and stop the beginner's lesson here. And if you would like to continue along and try something a little bit more challenging, then just stay right there and we're going to start the advanced lesson in just one moment. So welcome back. Now we are going to take our picture and focus on our background and adding some texture into our foreground in the cloth and some highlights in our snow. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and get out our Kaleidoscope acrylic set. And I've picked out these colors for my background and um, the texture and highlights that I'm gonna be applying but you do not have to use these colors. Again, artistic license, whatever your favorite colors are that you might want to incorporate, then go with those. However, if you do want to use the colors that I'm using, we're going to go ahead and put that list on the screen for you. The colors I'm going to be using are Titanium White, Yellow Ochre, Purple Lake, Sky Blue, and Light Green. So we're going to go ahead and grab our Creative Inspirations number four round brush and we're going to start working with our foreground and I just want to add some highlights in the snow. You know, the sunlight's going to be coming in and creating a bright shine on that snow. So I'm going to go ahead and dip into my titanium white here. and just gently 
add some highlights onto the top of our little snowdrift here. I'm going to grab a little bit more white and come into the other side. So now I want to add some texture into the scarf here. And this texture can be anything you want. So to get ideas of cloth textures, you can look around the house, look at your favorite clothing items. If you have a favorite scarf, look at that and see what kind of texture it has. I'm going to come into my scarf and do sort of a woven pattern. Okay, so now that we have the texture in our scarf, we're gonna go ahead and do our last touch. We're gonna add some snow falling in the background. I'm gonna go ahead and use white, but again, use your artistic license and whatever color you want. Okay, so I am really happy with where my painting is, and I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. So we've gone ahead and added the details of the textures and the cloth, the highlights, and their snowy background. So I hope you had fun earning your artistic license with me today. I look forward to seeing you all on the next Art Explorations for Kids. Mm -hmm.